but certainly a name in the frame. Now we'll see his winning Euro Tour title as the next logical step in his PDC career. 96. Certainly been playing well enough to do it, but Daryl Gurney can beat anyone no matter how well they play. He just has this incredible resilience, Gurney. 134. Five legs without reply for Durant last night in that win over Chris Doby. He was 4-1 down, but he came through. 104, the average as well. Finishing was excellent in the closing stages as well. 99. Slightly benefited from a rogue shout from the crowd as Doby threatened a big finish to get back on track and get back into the match and force a decider. No, I did not. Yeah, but he, he was the better he player, was, yeah, wasn't he? Even, he was, even when he was trailing by three legs, you felt that it was a little bit unfortunate. Yeah, Doby himself pretty much admitted as much anyway. And 96. Glenn Uruguay, 134. Admitted also it's just part and parcel of playing darts on a big stage. Forty-four. Well, could have put a bigger dent in that one. May only get a dart at bullseye when he returns. Gurney hasn't flown out the traps as he did. No, it's Carl Wilkinson. Glenn Uruguay, ninety. So I'm starting on the twenties. Now looking at double fifteen. Yeah, shot the first leg. Glenn Durant. Very assured. Second leg is down. Start from first. Durant. Game on. Won't be a particularly quick game, this, but it wouldn't surprise you if it went 10 or 11 legs and every single one of them was 78. 15 darts or fewer. That's the kind of standard we expect from these two. Durant has made a quarter final on the European Tour this year. Zvola, where he achieved that for the first time. 40. In the Dutch Darts Masters, also made the uh, quarter finals of the European match play as well in Mannheim recently lost to the eventual champion Joe Cullen 48 yeah took that next step in Risa when he beat Gurney in the quarter final so he has been edging closer to a first Euro Tour final and potentially a first Euro Tour title yeah another player City. who has a habit of losing to the eventual champion beaten by Gerwin Price in the semi-finals And he went down with a very healthy day. average, 98.02 that day. Did not like that one bit. 45. Three grand in ranking money for reaching this stage. Five grand for the quarterfinals. Six and a half for the semis. Ten for the final. 25 grand if you win the title. And does it. 65. Who will be in the top half of the seedings for the European Championship. His debut at that tournament, of course, his first year in PDC Dar. Could take a big step. Could find himself four. in the top 10. Another in there. And we'll go sailing past it. 134. Yeah, 122. Yeah. Started the weekend on £24,500 on the European Order of Merit. Potential break of throw here, though, for Durant. 50 he wants. 25 97. he gets. Darley require 36. And Gurney's setting up well. Yeah, Sean, the second leg. Uses that. You can see. The leg it's Glenn to throw first. That doesn't look Game like on. a good marker dart, that first one. But he stepped over to the right. He's changed the angle. And it means you've got more of that barrel to funnel it in off. And that's exactly what he's done. You could see it. Oh, so slide down the barrel and skew into the double 18. It's a very, very tricky thing to be able to do and do well. But he's done it superbly there, Daryl Gurney. Simon Whitlock, another one of those players who likes changing his angle on the hockey to try and maximise the benefit of having more dart to slide down. One hundred.
140. And his third dart average at the moment 140. is 45.8. 100. Glenn, you require 124. Similar checkouts, both left after nine. Treble 18 and ball for Dozer. 92. Daryl, you require 121. Can Gurney pick his pocket? Trouble 17 and ball for Super Chip. He gets a go at it. And well, he gets it as well. Man. Superb Daryl stuff. Gurney. Fourth leg is Daryl to throw first. Game on. Now, Gurney pinches that break. Did this against Carl Wilkinson. He got a break in front and then managed to defend it knows if he can just keep on producing strong legs on throw shut Duzzer out of this contest but it's very difficult against Duzzer because at any point you just chuck in 11-12 data you think there's always one around the corner with Len Durham 140 yeah still this third dart average noticeably significantly higher than the first two 140. Hughie, finds a single 20 after those two treble 20s. 140. See, Gurney there might have taken, certainly Simon Whitlock might have taken a little step and come at those two darts from an angle. In the end, Glenn Durrance thrown it straight down the line and there wasn't enough room for another completely straight dart to fit in there. 140. Yeah, almost trying to just plough our way through. The averages here, very, very impressive indeed. 108 for Durant, 106 for Gurney. What a leg of darts this is. This is super. Two treble visits two. all the way through Barry until that one from Dozer. Potential 11 darts or 12 darts will do, though, for Gurney. 70 away. Hmm, just distracted there by something. Is it another ball finish? It, it is. is. It there. is. Well, it's ironic, isn't Can it? Because Durant had that missed start on a ball for a 2 0 lead. And since then, Gurney's levelled it up. He took out 1 2 1 on the ball for a 2 1 lead. And another ball finish there for 3 1. Three out of four on his checkouts, all going hand in hand with some One very, very strong day. scoring as well. And all in all, it's the perfect package so far for Daryl Gurney. Durant not doing a great deal wrong. Fabulous stuff. Two major champions, head-to-head, -head producing world-class darts, and it is these fine margins. One dart at the bullseye. They, that has decided the last three legs. Yeah. Two in the bull for Gurney, one 99. missing the bull for Duzza. And even that double 18 that Gurney pinned was expertly done using that dart as a, as a guide, even though it was quite Pretty some way outside the board, his first attempt. It's been top quality 92 and again we see a finish left after nine darts 100. pressure being applied though by Daryl Gurney Ooh, that was 20 on the floor 20. Well, he's not thinking clearly there because that should have been looking at the ball really 70 that would have put him on 165, but Durant here looking at 170. Won't get a shot at the ball on this one anyway. <laughs> it's a good job Gurney didn't leave a finish. 30. Because that has probably made Darrell Gurney the favourite for this leg. <laughs> 135. Then you require 140. Well, a score of 30 when he was in control of this leg, Glenn Durant. He is a man averaging yeah, under 5. And yet, 50. he might be about to go 4-1 down. Oh, that's a bit close, isn't it, Daryl? <laughs> 
34. Then you require 80. Well, despite that visit of 30 and uh, three successive visits of uh, sub-100 for Durant, he might actually get away with this one. Oh, Once again, again, treble five. Dyson Parodi. Looking at the 15s, finds it for double 10. 60. Not just the wire. They already require and you can 16. see the anguish for Glenn Durant. Four top class legs, and then yeah, this one's got a bit scrappy. Darryl but Daryl Gurney does get it the in the bag, and Game it's on. a break of throw. It's 4 1, and Gurney averaging 105. I just find it difficult to envisage how you come from 4 1 down to Gurney in this form because he is so resilient, so difficult to break. The number six seed and the world number three, remember, could be going through to the final session of action and putting himself in with a chance of winning his second Euro Tour yeah, title. Yeah. Start this year, hadn't won one. Yep. You feel, I mean, most players are entitled to one scruffy leg. and I, Well, it was far from scruffy. It was 17 darts in the end. But you feel with Gurney having got that one out of the way, there won't be too many more opportunities for Glenda right now. Oh, we've not seen a 180 in this contest, and yet we've seen 12 scores of 140 or more. Oh, and lots of visits like that. These two treble visits, we're seeing them all over the place from these guys. Ninety-nine. Loose one there from Gurney, but 122 is left. He's already taken out 121, so... A bullseye finish is no problem for Super Chin. Ooh, 80. Straight again. 122. And Gurney has all the time in the world here. 104 away, so he'll stay. Oh, should stay on the 18th. He may move over. Yeah, he's got the treble. Just pitched it upstairs. 90. And did not need to be too aggressive there either with Durant on 229. And once again, Daryl Gurney coming up with the right numbers at the right time. One hundred and forty. Daryl Uruguay, thirty-two. Next door for double eight. Over for double four. Twenty-four. Oh. Lenny Uruguay, eighty-nine. Well, astonishingly, this one may slip through his fingers. In the main, his finishing has been really good today, Daryl Gurney, but he's wobbled here. And Durrance is looking at double sixteen. That's a little bit awkward the way that one's pitched in. Slight step over to the right hand side. And he's overdone it. Marginally, but it's Daryl enough for Daryl Gurney to return. Eight. Has already fluffed his lines with his previous visit. Yeah, but he doesn't fluff back. his lines on Darryl this occasion. Gurney. And Daryl Gurney. Game on. It's turning into a very, very comfortable ride for the number six seed. Oh, does it still have it in 100 in this game? It's, it's a very, very odd game, isn't it? 41. But Gurney has given himself more opportunities. And it's those two 12 darters, both bullseye finishers, both 100. with Duzza on a checkout himself. That really put him in the driving seat, and he's been able. Just increases Lee, both averaging 99. 83. Does that may well be going out of the tournament with an average of 102 for it. 140. After that superb comeback against Chris Dobie in the second round. Yeah, Chris Dobie, one of the uh, cluster of players watching on from the side of the stage. You can or earlier saw him and one or two others watching a really high quality 100. encounter. Big averages in their previous two meetings and big averages once again from these two. They've served up another high standard. 140. And another two treble visit for Daryl Gurney for good measure to get himself down to 1-2-1 one, one after nine darts of this leg. And it may well be that he finishes things off with a break of throw for good measure as well. 135. Well, he could win this with a third bullseye check out of the match. Looking at the 11s. Oh, no. Where's he going? Well, Daryl. 
You've been hitting the bullseye all day long. 99. Does is on a finish. It's a bit flash, isn't it? Maybe he suspects that Durham won't get 142, and he won't get the 142, but it was a little bit, of, sorry, a little bit of a gamble there from Daryl Kearney. 102. Daryl, you require 32. But in the final reckoning, it might not really matter too much. Daryl Gurney made heavy weather of this portion of the board not Get too long ago, but it matters Darryl not. Gurney. He finds double eight, and Daryl Gurney, you have to say, very, very impressive indeed in the main. Some very.